Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to attempt to do a product review for the first time and I'm going to review the cork fill filament from Colorfab. I got this filament uh, from uh, the Prusa store when I bought the printer uh, several months ago and for full disclaimer I bought this with my own money. Uh, Colorfab did not uh, contact me or or send me anything in this regard so this is purely my own thoughts on this filament and the experience experience i had so let's have a look after the intro <laughs> So this filament is a wood fill uh, filament, a uh, cork fill, and they recommend that you have uh, a little bit bigger nozzle than a default 0.4 nozzle. So I put on the 0.6 nozzle I got uh, from the e E3D fun pack and used that and I didn't have any clogs or problems printing with the filament. I started out by printing a, a temperature tower uh, model I found on Thingiverse. And in this model, uh, there are letters of its temperature uh, to set for its step. And uh, I just manually edited the G-code file at its uh, step to the correct temperature. And in this test, uh, the temperature from 170 degrees to 210 all gave similar results. And I, I didn't notice any color change in the filament either, uh, like people have shown in some wood filaments, but this filament was really consistent in color depending on temperature. Uh, but the temperature uh, listed on the box was from 210 to 230 degrees. So this, this tower was uh, maybe not uh, good enough for, for this filament. So I went into Fusion 360 and uh, made a new, uh, new temperature tower. Uh, it's very similar to the other one, uh, it has the basic uh, same dimensions, but I just uh, had the letters 1, 2, 9 on it. And in this test, uh, the tower goes from 245 at the bottom and up to, down to 205 at the top. And as you can see, the, the bottom part of it is really stringy. and and very low detail and in this test I found out uh, at 210 degrees at the, this one here was maybe the best best one of them all so that's uh, at the lower end of the temperature specified on the box but on my Prusa printer this came out I think the best uh, you can see a little bit difference in color uh, at the higher temperatures uh, but also there is a lot of strings and, and it's very fuzzy so I went ahead with, with 210 degrees and then I printed uh, this uh, test print and it came out okay for most part but uh, there is the circle here or the this part came out really strange uh, but the pyramid came out okay and uh, the bridging tests came out okay, but I had several issues with stringing. Uh, fine detail on the thin walls here came out okay also, but uh, again a lot of strings and uh, the overhangs uh, came out pretty good. So there's no nothing to complain on on that front. Uh, in in this temperature, no, in this uh, dome. There's a sm small surface issues in it and uh, some stringing, but uh, for most part uh, it held its shape uh, okay. And I think for a 0.6 millimeter nozzle it is, is okay uh, for that. But if I can get rid get rid of the stringing, it, it will be uh, quite good. After I did the, the tests of the filament, I decided to make something in Fusion 360 that would be uh, suitable for a wood full filament. So I modeled uh, this drawer uh, in Fusion and it's uh, just 
simple simple drawer that I can uh, take out its drawer and, uh, and my son has put some coins in <laughs> and it is uh, just a just something I found to be suitable to have to have in wood filament uh, a drawer it's like a Barbie doll size uh, in scale so uh, this came out quite well and I found out uh, when I was printing there was uh, because the drawers were printing like this and there was a small issue with with big overhangs or big big printing it, it was not very perf not very good and I had to clean it up cleaned up a few uh, issues in the, in the drawers but uh, it was quite quite long bridging uh, so it's uh, expected I guess but uh, otherwise uh, the print came out quite good and as you can see it's uh, just a simple simple square uh, but, uh, like the cutouts for the drawings, drawers, um, uh, some spacers in the bottom here to guide the drawers in. Uh, it's fully fun functional as such. And I think my son is gonna keep this to store coins in it. The other model I did was uh, this tree stump. Uh, this designed by a guy on Thingiverse and this. Uh, like a pen holder, you can put pen in the pens in the hole. Uh, this model printed quite okay, and uh, there was some stringing in the sides, uh, but uh, I was able to clean up easily with a heat gun, and, and that was not an issue to clean up. Uh, so it looks uh, quite well and quite good, and has a good tree uh, bark color in it. And the uh, color is very consistent in the, in the print, and uh, I think it's uh, came out quite well. And it is a it's a nice model, and I th thought it would be uh, quite funny to print out a tree from a tree-based filament. So I made this for laughs. So this was the second model I did. So as you can see from the spool, the, it came in a clear spool, and that's very neat to easily see how much filament is left on the spool and it's a very solid solid plastic spool uh, and the spool has the temperature recommended temperatures and heated bed temperatures listed and also the production date so you can see how old the filament is and it's a it's a nice nice design of the spool and it came in this this package uh, has the Colorfab logo and, and also the temperature information and, uh, and filament size. Uh, so it's a nice packaging from Colorfab in this filament. So one thing I noticed about this filament, it's really easy to, to cut into it and, and clean up uh, issues or, or some misprints and it's also easy to sand the filament so it's a very easy PLA to to work with and if you're into model making I think this is a, a great great filament because you can easily uh, sand it down and, and if you want to paint it prepare it for paint and uh, using using the heat gun on the sanded surface cleans most of the the white color that comes out when you when you do the sanding uh, i did some tests on it and, and they went uh, from like the white uh, sanded surfaces to to brown again but not maybe completely as it was originally but uh, for most part it did a good job using the heat gun on it so i think for for models uh, this filament is ideal and it's really easy to to cut into it as you can uh, see I've been uh, cutting cuts really well so so if you have to adjust uh, just the print a little bit if you're like prototyping also it's easy to adjust uh, just cutting cutting into it so that was a 
a good property of this filament. So this is my review of, of the Colorfab cork fill uh, filament. Uh, for most part it's very easy to work with. Uh, in my case I had to use the lower end of the recommended temperature, uh, but on, at that temperature it was working quite well for me and uh, I was quite happy with the filament. You have to uh, note that they recommend that you use a bigger nozzle, so if you don't have a big nozzle you have to try to get a 0.5 or 0.6 uh, millimeter nozzle to reduce the risk of clogging uh, and that's something people have to deal with with uh, food, wood filaments in general so I don't think it's a, a color up issue only it's just the particles in the, in the filament tend to clog up but I didn't have any issues like that in my case because I changed the nozzle beforehand uh, I had read about this uh, uh, before I made the test prints. So uh, for this wrap up I would highly recommend this filament for everyone that is going to do any modeling or prop map map mapping or, or something that they want to uh, adjust by hand afterwards and, 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 and clean up. So it's very easy, easy to work with not like many filaments I've tried before that are really tough to sand this is really easy to sand so for that I would recommend this filament uh, to everybody that want to try out uh, a cork wheel filament but for now I thank you for watching and, and see you in the next one